Well, here at the Autosport Awards, John Gorsline is about to make his presentation to what is the de facto best young American racing driver of the year. And uh, no doubt about the winner this year, Connor Daly. Connor, great to see you here. I mean, your dad, of course, raced in the UK a lot, but um, your racing career has been in America. Yeah, so far, um, so far it's been in America. I, uh, I hope to move it um, over here next year. Um, I've had a, a fantastic season and uh, a great last two years really in the Star Mazda Championship in America. And uh, I think, you know, for me to pursue Formula One, um, it's time to come over here. Um, so we're, we're working things out at the moment, um, but, you know, hopefully I end up uh, racing in something like GP3 next year and uh, I'll be able to showcase what I can do uh, on this side of the, the ocean. Now you said you want to go into Formula One. Why have you decided to do this? Most American young drivers want to go and race at Indianapolis or Daytona or somewhere, but is it because your dad raced in Formula One? I think that has a little bit to do with it, um, but I think uh, there's a lot of Formula One fans in America and uh, there's a lot of passionate um, Formula One enthusiasts and uh, we need another American you know, champion. And uh, I want to be that, that champion, so, uh, and, and especially with the U.S. Grand Prix coming back in 2012 um, in Texas, uh, it, it, it won't really succeed without an American driver. Um, so we need to have an American driver to support for all the fans, and uh, you know, I want to be that guy. Now, I said that um, you raced in America, but one of your springboards to the Star Mazda series was when you came and did a fantastic job in the British Formula Ford Festival and the Walter Hayes. Yeah, that was great for me. I mean, it was, a, it was an awesome opportunity from Jeremy Shaw and the Team USA Scholarship to, uh, to get to race in the Formula Ford Festival as well as the Walter Hayes. And uh, fortunately, my teammate Joseph won the, won the festival and I won the Walter Hayes. So it was a, it was a, good, week, a good, good month for the Americans. And uh, that, that kind of started my whole uh, you know, drive to, to come over here and race in Europe. So I was, uh, that was a huge part of my career. Now, Joseph, of course, has been racing this past season in GP3 and, and found it really tough. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult. I mean, it's not, it's not easy coming over here. I mean, there's a, a lot of good drivers. The competition is incredibly tough. And, uh, you know, there's 30 guys out in the GP3 field who are all, you know, all, they all want to make it to F1. Um, so hopefully I can, uh, you know, just do a little bit better and, and, uh, and, and try and just showcase what I can do and hopefully uh, persuade some of the Formula 1 teams to, who, uh, who might be interested and you know, hopefully get a good reputation for Americans. Now, is this a firm decision, GP3, or are you still also looking at uh, other options? Because I know you tried quite a few cars in the last months, and including Formula 3. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on. I mean, nothing's confirmed. Um, I mean, I think the, the ideal situation would be for me to be in GP3. Um, but we're also looking at a few things in America as well to kind of keep keep a high profile over there as well because um, that's where my fan base is, that's where all my family is and, and supporters mainly. So uh, there's a lot of things in the works um, and hopefully it can be you know, decided in the next couple months. Now you lost a, a long-term sponsor, didn't you, recently? Has uh, that uh, halted the progress a little bit? Slightly. Uh, I was supposed to do a bit more GP3 testing than, uh, than I did. Um, but fortunately, I was able to call everyone I've ever known and uh, come up with come up with a bit of the money to uh, to do the testing, and uh, and I think we're 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 building a really good uh, base of supporters right now. Um, there's a lot of people interested who want to you know help the next Formula One champion from America, and uh, I'm 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 really excited you know to have all these people coming come together to kind of put this racing program together um, because it, it means a lot to me that, that there are so many people in America who are passionate about Formula One and seeing an American in Formula One so it should be an interesting year next year. Now some racing dads tend to get in the way but I get the feeling that uh, that Derek you know it's just about keeping it at the right level. Yeah definitely he's he's a, he's a great tool to have um, not only as my father but as a manager as well so uh, I owe a lot to him and uh, and he loves what he does although he's constantly busy every day um, he does a good job, so I'm, I'm really thankful to him, and he, he's definitely, definitely important in my life. Now, at the start of the season, may we see you in some other races like the Daytona 24, a bit of sports car experience perhaps? Maybe, yeah. There, uh, there's a lot of different things going on, a lot of opportunities. Um, I'd like to do the Daytona 24 hour. I think that would be a good, good experience, um, but we'll see. I mean, nothing's, I think after Christmas, a lot of things will be confirmed, and, and, uh, being put together so we'll see what happens.
Now the Gorsline Award also uh, takes you off to a special training program which is more you know, mind over matter. Have you got a strong racing brain at the moment? I think so, yeah. I, kn I, know, the, I know Jacques Delaire very well who does the program and uh, I've actually been through his program already so it's been, um, it was a really good experience for me and uh, it's just a great opportunity provided by John and, and Jacques and uh, you know, I'm honoured to, uh, to be receiving the award. Does that be a bit of a top up for you, really? Definitely, yeah. I mean, but it's always it's always good to have time with Jacques and uh, and to be you know still involved with him in his program. Well, Connor, you're a very deserving recipient. Congratulations, and uh, we look forward to see you racing over here in Europe in 2011. Thanks very much. Thank you. No, thanks a lot. So, John Gorsline, you're making the award once again, the de facto best young American racing driver of the year award. As ever, Sterling Moss is here. And of course, Doug Mockett to join you, all part of this uh, great uh, celebration here today. Maybe we just go across and shake the man's hand. Connor well done, Daly Connor. is well the winner of well the 2010 Gorse Line Award. Well and there, the legend himself, Sterling Moss, also well joining in, and uh, Doug Mockett. So, Connor Daly, a great year in the uh, Star Master Series. Well, and to crown it all today, the award from the Gorse Line Company. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Doug.